Welcome back everyone to another video. Today I play some Crusader Kings 3 and um, I am newer to this game. Obviously like Heart of One and stuff played a bunch but this sort of strategy game uh, yeah I haven't really played much so I thought we were today we'll, we'll start with something simple before I try and learn the more complicated stuff and we'll pretty much just try and take over Ireland which I have done once or twice so I should I should be able to do it hopefully today too so let's get straight into it. All right, the first thing we're going to do is straight away go to war. We're going to claim this territory. Well, we're going to invade it, raise our army, and just move it in and speed up. Yep, and it's as simple as that with these bomb guys here. It's really not too hard to invade these guys. Uh, we'll send them straight on in. They should take a lot longer, and there we go. Uh, we're just going to force this to mount. Obviously, he's still in power, but now we can go here and revoke it so he can't... I know it. So there we go. We've got an extra city. Obviously, as long as we... Oh, wait, I do need a new guy. This. Obviously, as long as we can think this, we'll get some money, which then I can invest into the main thing. I do have this fabrication on this guy here, but I do want to revoke this guy's title or before I do it, but I have to wait for the trace. Or what's going to happen is when I think this guy, this, this he's also going to come to war with me, which... It's just easier if I just wait and get this guy, I think. We can now revoke this guy's title. All right, so now we have four domains. And we got, obviously, four domains. I like also having all my domains kind of in the same area. Uh, so, yeah, all of this is pretty much just going to be vassals. Um, he is 45 now. As long as he, if he survives to maybe like 70, I think I might be able to get all these wars done in there. Okay, he doesn't have any allies. So, I think we should go straight to war with him. There we go. Yeah, pretty quick. Obviously, these small ones... I don't think it's going to be two things, actually. Uh, we need to grant this title away. I'm not really sure who exactly is the best people to give, like, grant titles to. This game, I think I've only played probably, like, 20, 30 hours of this game so far. Well, probably 20 hours, probably, max I've played. So, I really don't know what I'm doing. All of it is just been me playing, pretty much playing a game and learning from mistakes. Which I guess is the best, one of the best ways to just learn a game anyway. Okay, yeah, I'm... I got for some reason a claim on this guy, and yeah, I'm definitely not going to go all to him because he's um, allied with the King of England, which, um, so I think for the time being, this guy is going to be pretty much untouchable due to their allied allies, unless I could make a very quick attack on him, win, before the England's can send support, but that is probably pretty, that is very unlikely for me, I would say. Right, we did... We have now got a, uh, a finger bell of a house calling, so I guess we'll go after this guy as soon as we can before they get an ally, some crap, and make it almost impossible for me to go after them. There we go. And we can enforce the demands. Right, I think it is time to go to war with him. Let's raise our army. I'm pretty sure his army is actually quite a bit weak now. Yeah, it's see, 500 lower. I think, we, I think it's mainly down to levies. I think everything else is pretty much equal in a way. But I guess we'll send him in now. Right, we're getting involved in the fight. And yes, we did win. And we did kill quite a lot more, so that should be good for us. Alright, he took that thing and then ran for it. And I guess we'll grant that title away again. Actually, yeah, we do have to think about secession, because uh, this bloody kid is going to try and make the Duchy of Meth, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, the one thing I do need to do is obviously save up for money to become the king. The one actually good thing, which if my king does die and this happens, is this guy, because of obviously they become king, as long as I attack them straight away, what I should ever do, which uh, I've been able to do before, if they break away, it should allow me to attack and I should win quickly. And at least then I get the, the title for the Dutch for free. So then I only have to pay the 425 instead of having to pay for the, for the Dutchy too. I think that's how it works. So that could save me a bit of money. But actually, when I'm looking here, it's actually not too bad. Because I want to lose any of my main things. These are, these are the four ones I want to keep. I don't really give a shit, really. Well, as long as he stays in my control, which he isn't, because I'm also a duchy. But when I'm a kingdom, I don't care if I take, like, duchy titles and stuff. As long as it's not, like, my main place. Right, we can now attack. Which, actually, we, uh... We got a lot more men than them. They have, actually... They still have 960 men. So we do have an alliance with this dude... Don't think should be an issue. Don't think so. He's only has like 400 troops. Yeah, so let's, and as long as we go quick, now we push on in, we, we kill all of them, and then we should just, oh, wait, what? Okay, they actually apparently are really good troops. Yeah, they definitely paid for mercenaries, which is actually really annoying. I really haven't ever had them 
for mercenaries because if I only have 360 and wait this guy five, yeah he he's got yes 805 mercenaries yes yeah, the mercenaries he's called in which are making the big difference and my fucking kings died actually I can call my ally in yes let's call let's call my allies in I think I'm gonna call my allies in because it will give me a bit more support which is what I need well, I'm not really sure how I got defeated because um, we never took anything. Yeah, how how did I get defeated? It was still on thing. I don't understand that. Because they literally didn't have any of the tiles. They were literally just saying it. So, right, we have a, a thing now on this guy up here. And he only has 400 troops. There's no one. 60 bucks. I should probably from now on looking at the cash. Because the thing is, I've, when I've gone to war with people, I've never really had them call... Oh, I don't think I've actually... Except on literally when I'm on after this guy, I don't think I've ever had them call the mercenaries. Which is it's kind of new to me. So, so let's, I guess, get going. Right. I think I literally also killed all of their troops. So they literally had none left. Which is pretty actually good. Oh, right, enforce demand. Expand army. And grant the title to... Uh, uh, this person, 21, whoever the fuck he is. God damn, I would god die again. Alright, uh, we got the thing on this guy. We can declare war on our claim there. Let's raise the troops. And we'll get going. Yeah, I do... Yeah, it's annoying how... This is why I hate is how they take these two tiles, which these two tiles are. Some of the... Yeah, like you can see there. Some of the best money-making tiles in uh, Ireland. <laughs> or at least I find it. Probably because I put... Quite a bit of money into them, obviously. Well, at least our, I should say our king is eight years old. So I am hoping that, uh, you know, that could thing. Actually, I just realized we're not allied to them anymore. So we could, well, actually, we'd have to bloody thing a thing now. Damn it. There we go. We killed the bugger and enforced the demand. And we got it. Why do we have to lose some money now? Actually, I guess, I guess, I guess for now, then I could just actually, like, it's giving me here. I guess I'm just going to keep these. If I do manage to revoke this guy's title and just get these back and I'll go that, but probably better just to do this, get control done and get money. I probably won't invest any money into it. It's just gonna be it's just gonna give me more money than if I had a vassal. I don't know how he got a, how this vassal also got that, because I never I never even granted this vassal. Where well, don't think. So he must have just had the claim on the title and when I got I just got automatically given to him. Alright, why the hell is my prestige at minus 150? What the hell? Why the hell is my prestige at low? Now, once we get the prestige up, we can then declare war on these guys. Mate, why is this prestige is going down? Why is that 370 now? I didn't even do anything. Right, what is going on now? Why is that minus 566? I haven't even done anything. Why is this bloody collapse into the ground? What the hell? That's going to take me years to get back. I don't even know what is going on because I haven't even done anything. Could be this bloody guy. Where the fuck is it? This... This, oh wait, no, the other person, he kept wanting to veto. I don't know if that veto shit was when I was vetoing it, it was fucking thing and that. I don't understand why that would think my procedure. Actually give me the fucking thing. Actually, when I take this, I should be able to become king as long as I get the title. Oh, I mean queen, I'd become queen, I would. There we go, beat them up, boys. Beat them the fuck up. Oh, I want to do wealth, because when it comes to Ireland, you don't really need to much of a big army plus or so. I don't think, obviously, I'm just going to go after Ireland in this video, so I'm not going to be, like, needing to go down research and stuff as much, I don't think, due to probably won't be going that far down the timeline. Usually by now, I feel like I would have taken over Ireland. We finally have the prestige back, which is actually really nice. And will this also give me prestige? I think it should give me 100 fame. Oh, it gives me 100 fame, but... Okay, we got actually... actually oh, wait. I was hoping this would actually become, um... Would actually become, uh, some core cool thing, but... Okay, right. If I go... Boom. I just created a title, 400 prestige. So we are now Queen of Ireland. Or oh, High King. Oh, no. I thought... Why have I been saying I'm a, a queen this whole time? Yeah, I'm a king. Yeah, I think it was because it had the two doors. I was thinking I was one of the doors. Okay, well, we're High King now. The first step of taking over all of Ireland. There we go. We got another, another part. It's just these two guys now, which... If it wasn't for these guys... With the mercenaries, I probably would actually have these guys probably just now. Actually, that's that's not too bad. Because he's allied to their own self, pretty much. So, we also got six things now. Obviously, once we once we lose our renegade, that will also be an issue. I think if we actually go for these guys first, at least then they won't be allied anymore. And then I won't have to deal with them because of... Uh, they have... 
eight, seven, four, and these guys have three, five, three, and they shouldn't really be that strong. But we finally got a sun, so when we die, we at least were able to keep playing the game, and we'll have something else to go. Right, you run across the whole bloody country to stop these guys. We have three more tiles to go until we win. Oh, uh, yeah, when it comes to secession, obviously, we're also old enough. Well, yeah, we're only 19, so we're going to have more kids and stuff. But I think also we shouldn't have to worry about... Hopefully, anyway, we shouldn't have to worry about our ruler dying, I should say, because of we have no idea in this game, but my guy could just bloody die within a second. Who bloody knows? But they got quite a... They, they have to come really far, and they got quite a weak army. We got better. We also have a lot of allies, so worst comes to shove, we could call them in. I'm hoping that this guy here, the gold, I'm hoping... They got a lot of gold. I'm hoping they spend it. Okay, there we go. They just spent their money. So I think it is time to declare war on them. All right, we, did, we got a pretty good defeat on them. We got another victory, which is nice. And I think they have... Yeah, their allies are here now. Which, obviously, even with their allies, we can beat them. Which definitely shows that we are... We're doing pretty good now. It's probably not helping them out. They just keep charging on in and all. Make sure, I guess, yeah, I guess that's why though, so. Right, there we go. We finally got these gits. They're finally under our control. We, I guess we did also lose quite a bit of actually our men, manpower, but yeah, it should come back before the next war. Obviously, we got one guy left. One guy. Actually, we're getting 2.4 from Vassal's income and 2.5 from Fear Children's. Right, here we go. Just ended. Uh, they're getting raided, so... I guess that's also helped us out in a way. But take this, because that's their most useful bit. They have a bit they tend to not put as much money into, so. There we go, just beat them on the battlefield. And enforce our demand, and we got it. And that is also technically ours now, so. I was thinking if I could offer Vassal, uh, but they don't want to. Um, maybe I could sway. If I could do that, because obviously I do have to wait another five years. If I could just make them become a Vassal, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, I do not want that. I think we'll have to do this. Oh, we got we got 486 bucks. I kind of want to buy this because I want to see... Is this holding tax plus 15%? Is that across the whole, like, my whole realm? Or is that just for this one province of wonders? I want to check that out. We are bloody making a lot of... A lot of cash, to be honest. A lot of gold, I should say. This is not cash. He's apparently... He, okay, he is starting to offer. He was going to... Be minus eight for low, so maybe we wait a bit. He might just keep going down, so we might just be able to get a normal thing with him going. Okay, yeah, he doesn't want to do that, so I think the best option is um to declare war. And there we go, guys. We have just conquered all of Ireland, and we got we're getting good cash. We're actually pretty strong now with this cash. We could probably build up all these. <laughs> And yeah, they're pretty good. This is, I think, my second time now fully uh, thinking all of Ireland. I obviously I'm pretty new to the game. Actually, England's taking over Wales. Scotland's fully united. That's actually interesting. This hasn't happened before. Oh my god! Actually, Scotland must have thinged of Norway. But yeah, uh, I have been really enjoying this game. In the future, I hope to do more videos. I might also check out the mods like in Heart of Iron where I do lots of mod videos. I might check to see what's going there. Obviously, hopefully in the future I'll become a lot better with this game and. Uh, I can become, I can play as bigger countries and actually do stuff. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. So if you did enjoy, just remember to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. So cheers.